Hello, we are at Mobile World Congress 2012. Computaris is one of the exhibitors. Uh, how do you think the mobile industry is going to redefine itself? Well, the big challenges in the mobile industry at the moment are how operators react to the, the new type of market. Um, ten years ago, maybe five years ago still, uh, having a mobile operator's license was actually a license to print money. Uh, penetration was growing, uh, revenue per user was growing, and now all those things have changed. It's a completely different world. Um, the markets are saturated, there's uh, terrible competition, um, and uh, the average revenue per user is, is dropping every year. Um, at the same time, there's um, a massive uptake in the use of data, and basically internet traffic, everything should go mobile. All the stuff that we currently enjoy on a PC or on a normal computer will very, very soon be enjoyed on a mobile device. Yeah, so what we're seeing now is um, the massive growth in the uptake of data. All the services that, are, that we enjoy on a PC and on a computer are now being transported to a mobile device. Um, and everyone wants to access all their favorite uh, services, whether it's web browsing, email, uh, Facebook, any other social network, LinkedIn, it's all going to be on your mobile device. Now that means that the mobile networks are seeing a huge, huge increase in the volume of data being transported. Now, um, the protocols that were designed to transmit all this information over the radio, um, they were meant for voice calls. And um, they worked fine when a few people were using the data, but as soon as, a, as soon as you introduce data services, mobile data services in a country, um, uh, first few users use it and it's great, they have a wonderful experience. Um, when there's a huge volume, everyone else uh, joins in and there's a massive growth in the number of users that are using the mobile data services, suddenly the operators have a real challenge to keep that experience at the high level, to, make, to maintain that performance so that people can actually enjoy the services as they expect. And I think, um, so what we're seeing really in the industry is the way the operators are reacting to this new environment, how they are trying to uh, not become a bit pipe. They want to be in charge of what's going on. They don't just want to be the carriers of all the data and be a commodity. The operators don't want to be like an electricity company where you basically have a socket in the wall and you plug in the device that's doing the interesting, that's providing the interesting service. Um, but actually, you don't really think about the electricity company that's providing you with that, that electricity. The mobile operators, they want to not be like that. They don't want to just be providing you with a way of, link, of sending your data. They want to be providing you with the value, the whole, whole, um, whole value of the applications that you're using over that mobile data channel. So they need to um, fight and they've got strong competitors because there's so many over-the-top services coming from the internet world um, that are, that are being, now being offered on a mobile device. And these are really, really strong brands. You know, it's Google, it's Facebook, it's all the names that we know. And it's very, very difficult for an operator um, to, to challenge that because that's, that's um, a lot of where the value to the um, end users lies in, in, um, in, the, in those services that are offered over the mobile data channel. So the operators are thinking, well, how can we, how can we get involved in this? How can we make sure, sure that we get a share of the revenue? Um, and how can we also make sure that our customers aren't complaining that the data is um, not being transmitted as it should, that the experience that they're seeing isn't what they want to have. How does Computaris think it could help the operators to become more efficient from this point of view? Well, what Computaris is doing is we're sort of uh, trying to help them in two different ways. Um, on the first side, there's, a, there's the problem with doing a customer-oriented uh, policy management for the data transmission. There's, um, some data doesn't need to be transmitted immediately. An email can wait a few seconds, but a streamed video can't wait a few seconds. So that it's very important to be able to actually understand the data that's being transmitted over a mobile network and then prioritize it. So at the simplest, it just means that something that's not time urgent, like an email, takes a few seconds longer, whereas something that has to have an instant reaction time, like a video or a movie, comes immediately. But then you can actually look at the um, at the, uh, the underlying service. You might have an operator that says, OK, I'm, se I'm selling to business um, customers an email system. Now, when they sell an email service, they have to make sure that email works perfectly. But in that case, video probably doesn't matter so much. 
On the other hand, they may be selling to a consumer uh, a music download service and a, a social network service. And they've got to make sure that the music downloads work perfectly. So what they need is a, is, a, is a systems in their network that are monitoring the way data is handled and making sure that each user is getting the experience that they've paid for. And um, that's how Computerist is trying to help the operators to provide such a system. Talking about the social networks, is there any specific service that you presented here at Mobile World Congress related to this? Yes, indeed. Um, I mean, the second way that we're trying to, to help the operators is to try and sort of face up to this challenge of um, the over-the-top services, the services that are coming from the internet that are now being offered on a mobile device. And I think uh, the operators can't just ignore it. What they've got to do is realise that there's a, a bandwagon there. Um, they've got to find, get on that wave and, and surf with it. And um, we're trying to help them do that. Now, one of, the, one of the very, very strong waves that people are seeing is social networking. Now, um, I mean, it's particularly true in countries like Romania. There's a very, very young population. Social networking is growing massively. Um, and it's coming so quickly um, that a lot of the uh, people that are in the industry, they're used to timescales of maybe six months, a year, sometimes two years to deploy a new system. Now, six months, a year, two years, in the internet world, that's just much, much too long. In the internet world, we're talking days, we're talking weeks, preferably yesterday to deploy a new service. And, and with social networking, it's a bit like that. Suddenly, this wave has appeared. It's a kind of uh, a tidal wave. Everyone knows that, that something needs to be done. Everyone knows that, um, as an operator, you've got to, um, you've got to join in and, and somehow have a digital presence. Every operator, for example, has um, nominated uh, someone from their marketing to be uh, considering their digital marketing strategy but actually they don't really know exactly what to do. And that's quite natural, it's because, number, firstly, they come from a different generation. The executives running organizations are, are, are from an older generation than the, the, the younger people that are actually using these social networks. And, and, um, and secondly, it's just because it's so quick and the culture of a telco isn't, that isn't really adapted to reacting in a matter of days and weeks, as I said before. So what we've tried to do is um, develop a product that allows a telco to be integrated with a social network, to actually bring the, um, the, the, the telco's portal um, over to where the current younger generation of users are actually hanging out in the internet. Young, young uh, people using their phones, they are hanging out on, on social networks like Facebook. People spend hours a day on, on these social networks. That's why they're so valuable. Our, many, many hours a day hanging out in this particular application in the internet. And we think that the telcos need to be there too. The telcos can't expect their users to move where they are. The telcos need to move to where the, the young users are. And that's what we've been trying to do here. We have a product that we're, we're showing here and demonstrating here at the Mobile World Congress that does exactly that. Could you tell us your plans regarding Romania? Investment plans? Are you going to, to evolve in our country? Absolutely. We're, um, we're growing both our offices. Uh, you mentioned the office in Bucharest. We've had our office in Bucharest for um, just over 10 years now. We had a big 10 years celebration last year and um, our office in Galaxy is one or two years old. So um, we want to grow both those offices. We, we started off in Romania uh, in 2001 because we saw that there was a huge pool of talent that we could use in Romania and also it was a, a very um, uh, controlled and good cost. Um, but now that profile's changed. Now we see Romania as being a, a strategic place to be in the telco world. There's lots of uh, uh, dynamic operators that are interested in the kind of services that an independent um, mobile services company such as Computaris can provide. They're in Romania, they're in the surrounding countries. So Central and Eastern Europe is for us uh, a target market now and we are, we are there with our people and our offices in that market. How many employees do you have in Romania? Uh, in Romania we have um, about 180 employees, uh, I think it's about 150 in, uh, in Bucharest and, and the remainder in, in, our Gal in our Galatz office. How many clients do you have in Romania? Um, in Romania we um, are doing a lot of exporting, so actually we service all the, uh, it's about 70 operators across the globe um, that, where Computerist works and we are servicing those uh, 70 operators uh, from our offices in Romania. And within Romania we have uh, two operators that we're working with um, and we obviously uh, service them directly from the Romanian offices as well. But I think the mobile industry, I mean you see it here at the Mobile World Congress, is totally global. 
today I meet you in Romania, tomorrow I meet you in England, probably the next day in Africa, probably in four days' time in, in Southeast Asia somewhere. So, you know, the, 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 the technology is mobile and the people are mobile, so we need to do that in the way that we offer our services. And what we've done is we've created a sort of a, a young and dynamic team that responds very, very quickly, and I think that's our strength in Computaris. We can respond very, very quickly to the needs of our customers, which are the mobile operators. And um, if they're based in Romania, that's great. Um, if they're based further afield, that's also fine for us.